But when we're talking about the decentralized system, the real tests come when there are hundreds of thousands of nodes and users trying to participate in the testing. For this reason, the deployment of the Alpha has been staged in a way that allow people to try to slow build traffic and give us feedback on the functionality problem that they find or in the user experience issue where it's not clear how we could make things better. Yet we are solving as we go. We also set up a unique server with a demo version. It's not a blockchain, but all the applications that we implemented, this is the Explorer, the wallet, the mobile wallet, uh, and other web interfaces can be tried and user can choose either on the central server for demoing the user experience, the user interface, or in the actual testnet alpha version of the blockchain to see how things are running for real. But uh, remember, this is a testnet, coins have no value, and data is constantly resetted because as soon as we fix a bug, we are updating and restarting the blockchain. Once we have solved the core mass of uh, issue and the alpha seems to be pretty much stable and we have finished implementing the user interface and the functionalities of the application, we're going to move to a beta version. The beta version is going to be a public open source version that people can try and where people can even help with the code of the software. In fact, during this phase, there are going to be bounties for people to implement different versions of the node coded in different languages that follow the same protocol as UBC and work together with those implemented by others. For now, the expected date is going to be around March 2020. It can arrive a little earlier or a little late. Because it's not just a matter of code, we want to prepare all the documentation inside the code and all the instruction for developers to work with the code to implement a compatible system, which they need to be spin off during the beta test of ZubiC. Once the beta version of ZubiC is available, we're going to open access to the GitHub repository to the developer that asks it to us. It's going to still remain a closed GitHub, but we open it to people that we feel confident can help. While releasing the alpha version of ZubiC, we also release and open to the public the draft version of our white paper. The AIMO white paper is not just a classic two-pager uh, commercial material, the most uh, blockchain project post calling it white paper. This is an actual, at the moment, 60 plus pages uh, document explaining and describing the technology. So it's very important, first of all, that we can uh, bring the message and explain with clear words uh, what is uh, ZubiC, what it does and how it does it. So the first feedback we want, and we're gonna give some nice prize to the people that help us the most, is on the way that web paper is written. Is it clear? Some part is not clear. Please, you can leave a comment in the Google document with your question. You can suggest editing. You can ask to explain more something. And this is the first round of feedback we search. Second, if you think that something is wrong, please highlight it. And you can open a discussion with us if you have a particular technological innovation or suggestion that goes above the aspect of the grammar and the explanation in the white paper. But first of all, we want to make sure that what has been our idea, what is that we are implementing is communicated properly in the white paper. If somebody has experience in blockchain, has a particular capacity to offer help implementing, we offer bounties and we offer also the opportunity to be part of a project that is going to revolutionize the centralized systems.